Welcome to Big Ideas Small Business. My name is Doreen Milano, and today we get to talk to Lee Richardson, and she is the director of Brain Performance Center. We're gonna talk about the health of our brains. We're gonna to talk to Lee Richardson today, and we're gonna talk about brain health. Welcome, Lee, how are you? Thank you, it's nice, great to be here. Brain health is one of my favorite subjects. Well, I'm glad because it's one of mine as well. You know, um, earlier this year, there were several things that happened to me, which is one of the reasons I prompted you to be on the show today. But I, had, I went to, to visit my mom, had to drive back in an ice storm. Then a few days later, we had snowmageddon. Oh yeah. And then about two weeks later, I was on the freeway, just getting onto 121, and a construction truck went down the fast lane at about 80 miles an hour and that road is under construction. He hit a bump and all the debris flew out of the truck mm -hmm. and took out my car. Wow. I mean, broke my, my sunroof, broke my windshield, broke the front grill of my car, took out a headlight, took out one of the side windows, took out the rear window, and it was like being in a war zone. I was able to drive and get home and once I got out of the car, I said, okay, honey, I'm not okay. And the next call was to my doctor because I knew I wasn't okay. However, you know, I think we're all primed because of all the events that have happened to us over the last 18, 20 months to have something trigger a PTS moment, post-traumatic stress. Well, you know, I think you're right because not only did you have physical trauma in that car accident, but you had emotional trauma. And that emotional trauma, you know, that you were very fortunate that you didn't, some people go into that fight or flight mode. And, and then, okay, I gotta fight my way through and I gotta get home. Some people go into the, they just go numb and they shut down. And that's the autonomic nervous system in the brain controlling that. But luckily, you know, you went into that fight or flight mode and I've got, Mr. Wizard, take me home. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And I got the car parked. I got out of the car. In fact, I was in the car. I believe I was talking to my insurance agent saying, this just happened. <laughs> and I said, I'm going home. The car's parked in my, in my garage and I'm not getting in it again. Because I was really clear that I was not able to drive yeah. anymore. And physically you weren't, mentally you weren't, yeah. emotionally you weren't. And you're smart enough to know that. So, you know, my doctor put me on medication, which was great. And I was on it for a couple of weeks and then weaned myself off of it and started to feel better. But the bottom line is I think that a lot of our, the small business owners are at that same point. Absolutely, they are. I mean, when you think about it, as a small business owner, we both are. Yes. And I mean, I'm surprised like 44% of the uh, businesses in the United States are small businesses under 500 people. Right. And they employ a huge amount of people. And when they're shut down, and I know, I remember, I'll never forget the day when the Governor Abbott said, you must, if you're non-essential, you must shut down. I'm like, okay. My very last client comes in and she's in tears. And I said, you know, it's going to be okay. And what, what I finally get out of her is she has no toilet paper. And she's so, ups I mean, how basic is that? And pretty basic. That's pretty basic, but that was her fear level. And everybody's fear has just been accelerated in the last 18 months. And as a small business owner, you know, what am I gonna do? When am I gonna open? It's the uncertainty, it's the never knowing. It's, and you think, oh, I've got these great employees. And do you think, am I gonna be able to keep them? That makes you anxious. What oh, am I going to do if I lose my best employees? Are they going to get COVID? Are they going to die? I mean, those negative stories just keep playing over and over and over. And our in the media brain. does not help that. No, it doesn't. It actually feeds that. It does. And I think that, you know, a lot of people, my biggest advice to them is get off social media, quit watching the news, you know, listen to 15 minutes of the news in the morning if you absolutely have to and then leave it alone because trust me, nothing's gonna change. No, it's not. No. So when I had the post-traumatic stress reaction, 
I stopped networking. I stopped listening to the news. I, I got offline. I did the bare minimum, which was like five minutes a day online. That was it. If, Good for you. If you did not text me, I was not getting back to you. I only took care of my existing clients. I stopped my outreach. I stopped a lot of things. Now that allowed me to breathe. Mm -hmm. And heal. And heal. But it did nothing for sustaining my business. No. And did you have those stories playing around in your head? Um, a little bit, yes. But for the most part, it was a, it was a choice of, I have to get healthy before I can help anybody else. And you're so right about that. Because and if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else. Yes. And practice what you preach. But you know, I th when I thought about when I was shut down and I thought about my customers, are their needs going to be different when they come back? I mean, no. I, are they going to change? But y you try to, you know, a lot of people in my industry were, were going and doing home training. And I'm like, I don't really, be that's not really what I believe in, but do I need to change my beliefs? So you have, you know, you start asking yourself all these questions only with the goal of how do I keep my business alive and how do I come back bigger and better and stronger? So let's talk a little bit about the Brain Performance Center. Okay. I think that people don't know enough about brain health and brain performance to really understand what it means. Well, you're exactly right. And the Brain Performance Center is really dedicated to all aspects of brain health. Anxiety, depression, ADHD, OCD, autism, I could go on and on and on. Um, but what I've learned in the, the, I've been in business since 2009, and what I've learned, people will come in, the first step is to do a consultation, and they'll talk to me and I'll say, wow, sounds like you're depressed. Oh, no, 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 I'm not depressed. Or it sounds like you're anxious. No, I'm not anxious. Well, then relax those shoulders. And, you know, it's okay to not be okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what people don't get. They don't understand that the brain is an organ just like the heart is. It's a part of your body, just like your legs are. And when you hurt your leg, first thing you do is you go to the doctor. When, yeah. you, when you can't get up the next morning because either you're so worried about things or you're so down and sad, you say, as I think you, you shared this term with me, suck it up, buttercup. Yep. Power through. Power through. You can do it. You can do it. And that is not the language. That is not the self-talk that we should be having. No, it's not. Because it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. It does not work. It doesn't make you feel better. It doesn't allow you the space to heal. It doesn't. And a lot of times what the Brain Performance Center focuses on, how you calm that brain down. Because when you calm that brain down, life gets better. I mean, everything just gets easier. It gets more fun. And one of the things I've noticed in the last 18 months is a lot of the, the people that we deal with, they have forgotten how to play. Oh, oh yeah. I, I can't, I, I need to be focused on my business. I need to be being productive. Play? Because the first thing I say when I see somebody, hey, did you have a great weekend? What'd you do? Oh, I worked. Oh, well, that's not a good thing, you know? There's no balance there. There is no balance. And a lot of people think that play and work are the opposites of each other. I think play, when you, when you work too much, play becomes more equated to depression. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. You know, I don't want to share stories out of turn, but you know, when my husband is not productive, I can tell the moment that he is not feeling productive yeah. because he goes into this depressive mode, yeah. right? Because it's so important for him to be productive. Um, what I noticed for me is that when I had that post-traumatic reaction, it was closely followed by a period of depression. Mm -hmm. Now, is that normal? That is pretty normal. Now, some people may go the other way. They may go towards anxiety. And, you know, from my perspective, it, well, it depends. Do you have more fast waves in your brain or more slow waves in your brain? 
more slow depressed, more fast anxious. Uh -huh. So, and genetics, what you're, because brain waves are just as genetic as how tall you are. So what, ran, what runs in your family history is where it kind of tends to, but it is normal because emotional trauma is just as devastating to the brain as physical trauma. Actually, I think it's more devastating because you know, the swelling goes down, the bruising goes away, the, the, what you see changes, but what you feel and what you hear, you know, the body keeps score. We that, talked about yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely, the body does keep score, which is why it's so important for us, whether we're business owners or not, to pay attention. So we're gonna break for a moment, we're gonna talk to our sponsors, and then we'll be right back to continue this brain health conversation with Dr. Lee Richardson. Just Lee, no Just Lee? doctor, okay. not yet. Not yet, okay, great. We'll be right back. My American Dream is to help you stay healthy and energized so you can live your American Dream. Our American Dream is equipping future generations of American Dreamers. My American Dream is to protect my community so they can live their American Dream. My American Dream is to bring you some spice and flavor to your life. Our American Dream is ensuring what's most valuable to you. Our American Dream is creating opportunities for healthcare providers so they can have their American dreams. My American Dream is serving our business community and advocating for all of your American dreams. Business runs on technology and human beings are creatures of habit. Unfortunately, not all our habits are good. Technology, when it works, is supposed to make our lives easier, creating routines that allow us to protect customer data, track our progress, forecast the future, communicate better, and move much faster. So you need technology solutions that work when you're not working or simply not paying attention. Smart technology solutions, making the complicated uncomplicated. We are being censored. America's news outlets no longer provide the truth. 90% of news outlets in the United States are controlled by six corporations. They're not out to tell you the truth of what's happening. They're out to tell you the picture of the world that they represent. The mission of the Epic Times is to chase the truth, to ground all statements and facts, and prevent people from being misled. The Epic Times is independent, we're not controlled by any special interests, and we never will be. The Epic Times is a non-partisan media. That means we don't stand for any political party. This is a battle. A battle between truth and deceit. A battle between forces that would ensnare this country in ignorance, and between a media that wants to present you with the truth. Subscribe today and join the Americans who are seeking truth and tradition. We'd love to have you on board. Welcome back. We're talking to Lee Richardson and we're talking about brain health and the amount of business owners that may be suffering early signs of post-traumatic stress as they are dealing with employees that are not at work having to deal with trying to find employees as they're dealing with cash flow issues related out of the shutdown and the pandemic and so on. So those are a lot of issues that cause both physical and mental distress. Absolutely. So as we, as we walk our way through all this, what are some of the early signs that business owners need to pay attention to? Well, I think, you know, when you, when you sit down and you think about some decisions that you need to make and you can't make them, you keep looking at them, you procrastinate, you just can't make those decisions. And that's a sign. Why can't I make that decision? Am I stuck? 
because sometimes we get stuck in our own head. Yeah, that's true. So that's something to look for. Our, our inability to plan, and I think instead of planning, we just get stuck in that reactive mode. We're so caught up in that reacting to what's going on around us that we stop planning. Mm -hmm. And have a plan, work a plan. That's the only way that you're gonna move forward. I think those are, two, those are really important. And I think when you, when you feel like that you've lost touch with your, what's going on right around you. I think that's a huge, huge piece because one of the things I found for me personally is that I didn't have the energy to go out and be with other people. I didn't have the energy to network. I didn't have the drive to be me. Well, and you know, when you say drive, there's, there's more to that because you've got to have the energy. And, you know, a lot of people, when they get in that spot, they'll just, I'll, I'll be talking to them, well, I slept all weekend. You slept all weekend? Were you trying to cope with what's going on? Well, yeah. And, well, there are worse ways to cope, for sure. Absolutely. But, but sleeping all weekend, then when you wake up, then you start doing the shame and blame. Well, shame on you. You know, it's your fault not good things are going to happen on Monday because you didn't do anything to make them happen. And that whole, there's so many different kinds of, I call them ants, automatic negative thoughts. They're so fast and furious, you don't even know they were there. It's just all of a sudden, I don't feel good. I'm angry. I'm grumpy. I'm mad, you know? And one of the, the things that I tell people is really focus. When you find yourself in those moods, focus on what put me there. What was I thinking? You know, because when you can identify some of those negative thoughts, that's when you can start to catch them. Understood. So, you know, the experience I had is when I was sleeping, I would wake up from these like mini nightmares or mini terrors, right? And I wasn't able to get my head straight, which is why I called the doctor immediately because I understood that it was a chemical imbalance in the brain, that the brain needed to be able to heal. But I don't believe there's a lot of business owners that are recognizing that they're in these early stages and they need to proactively do something different to have their brains heal, have their bodies heal, and have their business heal. Well, and I think that's because they're so focused on the business, the family, their employees, how, you know, I'm the person, I own all this. I've got to make all this happen. It's all on my shoulders. It is. And step back and take that weight off your shoulders because truly, if you're going to do what's best for your employees and for your family, you've got to be in the right headspace. You've got to be thinking the right way. You've got to be, you know, this is a true fact. Every day, there are three times more positive events in our day than negative. But what does the brain remember? The negative stuff. The one negative, yeah. you know? And, and that's the way the brain works. That's, the brain's job is to keep us survival. You know, when we came out of keep those caves. Keep us moving through everything that's going on, right? Absolutely. So do you have programs specifically for people that are in these early stages where they're not dysfunctional Absolutely. Yet? but they need to understand that brain health and stepping up and, you know, and what they're doing for themselves to heal themselves. There's so many different ways to come at that, but performance coaching from somebody that knows the brain and can help them identify, you know, don't come in. I'll have people come in and say, I'm crazy. And I'll say, you're not crazy. Oh, I feel 50 times better. <laughs> but don't go to that crazy spot. Reach out and get some help that can help you understand what's going on in your brain. Some people then, you know, if you've been a, if you've had a traumatic brain injury, then you may need to do something like neurofeedback or like neuromodulation to show that brain how to get into a regulated spot. But sometimes it's just understanding what's going on in your head. And yep. once you understand what's going on in your head, you can control it. And it, that's a big deal, to understand what the process is that will create brain health. You know, it's a lot like our physical being, mm -hmm. right? 
So when we have a trauma on our, in our body, your, our body doesn't work the same way. It is our automatically protecting, it, protecting itself from that kind of trauma again. Absolutely. So it will not move fluidly. It will not do certain things. And the brain need to protect takes over natural movement. Well, it does. I mean, all the time on, in your right hemisphere, two thirds of those cells are scanning for danger. I mean, that's going on all the time. You get in a stressful situation and what do you think takes over? I mean, when you get stressed out, your, your prefrontal cortex kind of shuts down the amygdala, the emotional center. I'll make all the decisions. Yep. And those aren't always, when you, I look back at decisions I've made, it's like, ooh, you know? I'm not so sure that was a good one. Yeah, well, it, it's all about reliving. There's a trauma that we live through that the brain will go back as a resource and make it look like that because it knows that we can live through that. Well, and right? that's how the brain processes information. It writes stories. But the brain doesn't really care if it's an accurate story. No. Oh, I've got a hole here. Let me, let me pull something in and stick it in. But that's how we process information. And understanding that, because you can rewrite those stories. And yes, you, can, you can. You can put that positive tint on it, just as well as you can the negative. So that, and I learned that through all my training through neurolinguistic programming. Mm -hmm. NLP. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you know, I work with my clients to rewrite those um, stories with a more positive emotional outcome, or even if it's just more of an accurate story. Mm -hmm. That sometimes if you can get the story accurate and they, and they realize, wow, I created this huge problem for myself based upon this story that wasn't even accurate. Yeah, it wasn't the real thing. No, no. So absolutely, and we need to stop for another commercial break. This is such a riveting conversation. Lee Richardson will be right back. My American Dream is to help you stay healthy and energized so you can live your American Dream. Our American Dream is equipping future generations of American Dreamers. My American Dream is to protect my community so they can live their American Dream. My American Dream is to bring you some spice and flavor to your life. Our American dream is ensuring what's most valuable to you. Our American dream is creating opportunities for healthcare providers so they can have their American dream. My American dream is serving our business community and advocating for all of your American dreams. Business runs on technology, and human beings are creatures of habit. Unfortunately, not all our habits are good. Technology, when it works, is supposed to make our lives easier, creating routines that allow us to protect customer data, track our progress, forecast the future, communicate better, and move much faster. So you need technology solutions that work when you're not working, or simply not paying attention. Smart technology solutions, making the complicated uncomplicated. Welcome back, and we are just continuing our brain health discussion with Lee Richardson. And what we're going to talk about next is what's the one thing that you want everybody to remember? The golden nugget of the day. The golden nugget of the day is very simple. Everything your brain does, everything you don't do, how well you do it, all depends upon how your brain's working. It is, you know, we can argue it's the heart, <coughs> it's the gut. My only words are, it's the brain. Wow. So if you're having a bad day, I remember an old quote that today's reality is shaped by today's, tomorrow's reality is shaped by today's choices, right? So if you're having a bad day, understand that if you make different choices today with regards to your health, 
your wellness, with regards to where you want your business to go, with regards to you know, how your family is working, your choices today show up in tomorrow's reality. Absolutely. Check in with yourself. You know, and I don't think we do in. that enough, do we? We don't, but just check in with yourself. And when you do that, oh, well, where's, you know, oh, I haven't, I haven't helped, felt happy all day. Joy, come on out here, Joy. You know, but that self-check-in gives you the ability to, to bring into your life what you need. And I think that's a huge deal. I agree. I think it's a huge deal that we take the moment to really check in and no matter what's going on, yes, we're having shortages of employees. Yes, we're having cash flow issues. Yes, we're having all kinds of issues as small businesses. You know, there are businesses such as the construction industry, they can't get materials. Yeah. They can't do what they need to do. Yeah. There are shortages. The electronics industry, we're short on chips. Can't get a chip. Um, Every single industry has its own issues right now. And if we recognize those issues being issues that are beyond our control, now we get to focus on what we can control, what we can make a difference in, how we will act or interact. I was talking to a lady earlier today who creates e-learning sites and we have this discussion about how important it is for companies to have an onboarding process that really resonates with their culture, their communication style, and who they are as a company. And giving the employees an opportunity to really check in and become part of whatever that culture is, yeah. right? So some of the things that we can be doing have to do with what our business really needs as part of its foundation. Checking in with those core values. Absolutely. And making them, bringing them more to the forefront instead of having them hanging out behind your shoulder. You're right. And when we, when we really look at that from a business perspective, we, are, we can feel more in control of where we're driving our business because then we're focused on our goals and we're clear on what is important to ourselves. You know, that's the most, you know, I tell people, know what's most important to you. Absolutely. It's a big deal. Understanding what your why is. Yeah. And, you know, we all have a different why. We all are driven by a different code, shall we say. Different purpose. A different purpose. And Understanding what that purpose is for each of us is what makes our businesses unique and really creates who our market is. All right. Right? So if we're too broad in our thinking, we're not talking to exactly the market we need to talk to to make the difference we need to make. You can't be everything to everybody. Absolutely not. And so it is really important that we have somebody like Lee here who's very clear that her mission is on brain performance. Absolutely. And brain performance is at the core of everything that we need to do. So how do people get a hold of you? Well, there's the Brain Performance Center in Dallas. We've got a great website. There's leerichardson.com. That plays to more of a, a different part of the business. There's LinkedIn. You can find me on LinkedIn at Lee Richardson. And we are happy to talk to anybody that has questions. And the phone number is? The phone number is 214-329-2019. And I have a gift for you, which oh. is a copy of my book, Digging Deeper, How to Find Lost Money in Your Business. Why, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go digging. There you go. And I'm Doreen Milano. My company is Visions to Excellence, and I help companies understand that their net revenue can be accelerated and actually can be compounded. Compounding your, your revenue enables you to do something that most businesses need to do right now, increase cash flow. Increased cash flow solves a lot of problems.
<laughs> straight across the board, no matter what's Real going. quick, doesn't it? Real quick. But you got to call because I can't do this by osmosis. We have to have a conversation. You can reach me at 650-483-5798, or you can get to any one of my websites, v number 2 eacademycom is an e-learning site. V number two ecoaching.com is a coaching web website. And then Visions to Excellence or V2E.biz is my regular website that talks about who, who I am and what I do. So let's go play. Let's, let's really focus on healing our brains, making a difference in our businesses, and moving forward instead of going backwards. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you soon. The fact is, business has changed. Engagement has changed. And for us to recover our businesses and our communities, we have to engage differently. If you want to have a serious conversation about engagement, community, and your business, call me, Doreen Milano, Visions to Excellence. I'm an executive coach. You can reach me at 650 483-5798 or contact me online at v2e.biz. That's capital V number two E dot biz. Let's have a conversation. This has been Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano. Doreen Milano solves problems for small and mid-market family-owned businesses and service-based industries. To work with Doreen, go to v2e.biz. For guest and sponsorship information, call 650-483-5798. Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano is produced by Offbeat Business Media for the OBBM Network. For OBBM Network programming information, call 214-714-0495. Unauthorized use of any part of Big Ideas Small Business with Doreen Milano without prior permission through the OBBM network is strictly prohibited.